day everyone my name is kate welcome to kate kitchen channel and more welcome 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 um today i'm going to be making agiti jollof those of you that does not know what is agiti jollof you are missing out so this is what we need to make our agiti jollof you need crack bone I decide to take the ribs from um, beef that is ribs so you can have bone as you can see there are bones so when you are sucking it you know you know that ah, something is missing so we need um, um, beef uh, bone the bone and uh, we need onions some um, garlic some ginger to season the meat and that is the basic of the agididi corn meal that is the uh, corn meal that is what we are going to be using for our agidi jollof and also the special thing that gives the agidi the sweet mm, is the sweet tomato stew you can also call it tomato sauce you can as well use your own from the one you cook before you can take aside the stew but i decide to make a fresh one because i don't want to go to my deep freezer and the froze the one i have there so i decide to make fresh stew so let's get down what are we going to do you just need a clean pot so we are going to put i've washed them cut them and wash them thoroughly we are going to put our meat inside and so before you go and cook for anybody you need to wash your hands very well so we are putting our ingredients our seasoning sorry we put our seasoning onion and you just need a mugging cube that is no you can use any one of your choice like chicken mugging any margin of your choice this is what i use to seasoning my my so we are going to put them and also i'm going to have a pinch of salt i'm adding a pinch of salt to it so now we are going to put it on the fire to cook And we had some water to mix. Just have water, the water that will be enough for it to get boiled. So see our fire is busy. And you cover. So we are coming back to see how far our meat is going to done. You leave it to dawn properly. So I'll see you back in a shifty. So welcome back that is our meat as you can see is good cooked so we are going to turn everything inside here and then you try to so now we have a clean pot bring it back to the fire and we take our stew remember we are making our agriculture love so you bring it here mm -hmm. you bring it here that is the stew I think that sauce is going to be enough you just measure it your eyes and now we are going to take our meat out from the water we are going to allow it to cook with our sauce for some minutes so the stew can enter into our meat so we are taking it out to try to don't let the onion swallow it Is an easy thing anyway. Yeah. 
from you. You take from the water, from the from the meat water, because the meat is so delicious, the the spicy. You add it to your sauce, just a bit, and you put it on the fire for some minutes, for like two three minutes. We just want the sauce to go inside the meat. Just want the sauce to go inside. Then later we are going to sort them out. So I think the the stew or rather your tomato sauce is good to go. It's inside the meat already. So now we are just going to try to sort out the meat into a clean bowl. going to sort out the meat we try to remove as as much you can from the sauce because when we are tying the agidi jollof we need it in pieces we are going to remove everything uh, we have set aside the tomato sauce, the stew, and then the, the, the meat that we are going to use. We have set that aside. I will show you that later on. So we are going to use this. This is the basic. Take a clean pot and the uh, maize, the corn meal. So I'm using 400 gram. To the case you, you come across a bigger size in the shop so you know how to maneuver yours so i'm going to pour it 400 gram and i think i will have a big small amount yeah that's a kitchen for you i'm going to add a little bit to it i'm going to gauge it this is Africa food. I just try to add like 100 gram to it to make it 500 gram. So in Africa we do gauge. We don't use a... So this is cold water. Normal cold water. We are just going to mix. You mix. We are going to make our agidi as you can see. Just mix. Miss just mix. So we have mixed first and foremost. You just had cook water, very cook water, like you are making your atamu. So we don't stay long on the fire turning. That is why I had a little water to to mix you see you just add it like we are making our normal akamu so you wait and see if you are not getting any good results you just bring it to the fire so like this there is already heat water you don't spend long time on the fire white tony just stir stir continue stirring don't stop if not you mess it up so you just keep on turning keep on turning like you are making your stash but this is not stash this is ABD Keep on turning below your fire as much as you can. Keep on turning. Just keep on turning, turning. Start turning until it's good cooked. Because if it's not cooked, it's going to mess up. Just start turning. You low your gas. Now 
not yet cooked we are still going to leave it so i'm really really an africa woman i have this i don't know anything you have to just maintain your pot again because i don't like seeing my pot rough with what i'm cooking just keep on turning now it's not going to get spoiled because you have a good paste you have a very good we have a very good paste now just keep on turning it till it's well cooked if it's not well cooked it's going to mess up at the end of everything so we are going to cover it to cook while it's like this you don't forget to low your gas to bring it low because it's not it doesn't need a heavy fire just need a little heat so you just had a pinch of water to make it cook so we are going to leave it for a while we are going to cover it for a while I have turned it I I close it twice I have turned it before and I close it again so I'm opening it again turning it how do you know if it's good cooked for those of us that don't that have not done it before you take a bowl of cold water very cold water and you take a spoon you just take a little bit into the bowl when it rise up when it's like this you see that it's well cooked you see but when it melts inside your water then you know that because when our agidi gets cold this is the form we are going to have so you put it inside cold water and bring it out and you have a bouncing uh, so now we are very sure that it's well cooked so we are going to add our we are going to add our sweet stew tomato sauce now we are going to form our agiti jollof you add you add we are going to form it why forming it you can just put your fire on the very low heat you form your abidi jollof that is it so easy it's very easy that is abidi jollof because i don't eat too much salt i don't uh, add salt but at this point you can take a piece and taste it if there is no salt enough you can always add salt if there is salt enough you just leave it so for me i don't eat too much salt so i let it be just like that because i have enough seasoning in my stew already so i just leave it like this now we have our agidi jollof we have enough stew on it you can see but if you are doing yours and you think the stew is not enough you can as well add as much as you can you remove it from the fire you remove it you turn on the ground so i'm using my rice packer just pack a bit Pack a bit and a bit, so I'm going to add my bone. 
inside. I'm adding my bone. I'm adding my bone. You can put two, but I'm just adding one. So while wrapping it, you try to cover the bone. You see, while wrapping it, I try to cover the bone. Normally they use Africa leaves, but I don't have it, so I'm using this one. I want to use two. I don't have the Africa leaves, so I'm using this one. So you try to form it like you cover the bone inside. Normally I use the Africa leaf as I said before but I don't have it for now. Maybe next time while I'm going to make it again. You will see that you just form the Azubi form. You bring it I'm using two papers so it can be warm for a longer period for someone that is coming to have a face. I don't need to warm it. So I'm trying the third one. Just try the straight form. Like Africa did do it. So that is the three that I've tied so far. So easy. And thank you. I'm going to show you later why I'm eating my agidi jollof. Okay, thank you. We are ready. Are you ready to eat with me? Agidi Jollof is ready. Agidi Jollof. I leave it to cool down a bit before I can start mm, eating it. So, we are going to start eating our Agidi. Wow. Look at it. Wow. Mmm. 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 Look at the middle, so you can see, wow, that is the bone. Look at our bone, our gudijo love. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. So delicious. That is our gudijo love. Mm. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see more of my video and give me thumbs up mm -hmm. if you like my video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and click the notify button so that you will be notified anytime i upload a new video thank you and enjoy the agdi jollof <laughs>